my friend recommended this place and it actually has very nice food but I got stuck here next to the kitchen because nobody speaks English and I also don't know how to order and so it's time to be offered but the food is good so I recommend it. you can come here and check it out So I come here to try and nobody speaks the language, right? And I have no idea, you know usually I don't mind because there is a menu and you go around but here there is these women just going around and bringing you something. So the first time around they came, I just picked what seemed <laughs> like most familiar to me and apparently I ate, I ate uh, some meatballs. And then I was sitting there and I was wondering, now should I just leave? I have no idea how to use any of these things. I am so confused. But this is why you travel, right? To experience different cultures. Like this one. I know at least the tea. I don't even know what it is. I can't tell if it's jasmine or green tea. I think it's more green tea than jasmine tea. But I, I might be wrong. And trust me, if I'm wrong, I don't I'm going to be surprised. So I already ate. I was contemplating just leaving because I was so uncomfortable. And then I told myself, why leave? This is why I travel to experience different things and I won't always have an easy time. So I texted my friend a video of the food and I asked her how, what am I eating and how do I order here? Nobody speaks English. So she sent me a picture of this and asked me to get it. So first thing I'm getting and then she's also sent me the menu and a, a list of other items so after i eat i'm gonna decide if i'll order the rest but this is quite an experience <laughs> so the other problem is i don't know how to use any of this i honestly have no idea if i'm using the right dish or not but here we are So lesson from this, don't let language barrier or lack of communication get between you and good food. Please don't. Make sure you come visit here for dim sum. My very first time trying it and it's really good. So this one in particular seems to have seafood. So yeah, I can see some prawns. Definitely some prawns. Also some squid, calamari or octopus. Yeah, and some other type of seafood. <laughs> to be honest, I was feeling so awkward. I just wanted to pray and leave. But then I, I realized this is the best time to live. Live in the awkwardness. Live through it. And live with a full stomach, not an empty one. Never an empty one. <laughs> dish but it's been a while since the lady came across here i can see them here in the front but she went so <laughs> i might not get to try it and this i checked in the pot 
this is jasmine tea i don't think green, green tea usually have like flowers so this must be jasmine tea. yeah i guess if she doesn't come around in the next like five minutes i call it a uh, lunch <laughs> but the food is really good so make sure you try it it's called lean cube I'll, I'll leave the name here sorry uh, tang things <laughs> anything else and i have to go now but <laughs> this is a very interesting experience the food is really nice the service is good it's just the language barrier that it's not so good and uh, i kind of just made myself at home so you do that too when you travel as long as you're not stepping on anyone's toes then do it <laughs> and get comfortable so yeah it was awkward at first to be honest and i'm still very confused but it was a worth it, worth it experience and I would love to come back here with my friend and uh, with my friend and so I can see how she'll navigate but Ava thank you for this recommendation it's been amazing Sabine it's been an interesting experience to Hong Kong teams 